In Colossians chapter 4, Paul is talking about the duties that come with our new life in Christ. He talks about devoting yourself to prayer with thanksgiving. And then he goes on to talk about prayer. Think about prayer as a believer's communication with God. Then he goes on to say how we should communicate with people who are not yet believers, with people who are outside of the faith, outside of the church. And he says in Colossians chapter 4, verse 5, Conduct yourselves wisely toward outsiders, making the most of the opportunity. He goes on to say in verse 6, Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Uh, one of the things I'm afraid of is that Christians in America uh, really don't understand how we are perceived by many people who are outsiders to the church and outsiders to our faith. Uh, there was a book written a number of years ago called Unchristian, uh, which is largely about this subject and how people who are not yet Christians uh, perceive Christians to be harsh, judgmental, um, condemning, known more for what we are against rather than what we say we are for. And one of the areas that Paul is telling the, the Christians in uh, the church is watch how you speak, especially how you speak to and with and about people who are outside our faith. And now Paul was saying this in a time before there was social media, before there was Facebook and Twitter. And I can tell you, because I am on both of those social media platforms, that there are many, many people who self-identify as Christian and their posts, their language, uh, is not gracious. Uh, it is not seasoned with salt. Uh, it is not, they're not expressing themselves towards other people, even other Christians, much less people outside the church in the way that Paul says we are supposed to. I really, really urge you to watch your own life, to watch your speech and your tongue. We'll hear more about that when we get to the letter of James, uh, because it's a theme that we find throughout the Bible of how our speech really reveals what's in our spirit and in our heart. Jesus says it's out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks. And this is, again, what Paul is saying. Uh, so when you're with people outside the church, I pray that your speech will be gracious, be a good listener, ask good questions. And if people have questions, Pray for God to give you the right answers and the wisdom to be able to speak into their life in a way that meets their needs. Let us be people who draw people to Christ rather than drive them away.